Could a fully functioning robot as we see in the movies be available in the near future within a few years from now? Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Scientists have revealed that they have created what they term as a AI that rivals or compares to human brain activity. That means that the computer or robot or android is capable of multi instructions all at once like the human brain. Some of you might think that you only think of one thing at a time, but the human brain actually thinks up of millions of things all at once. Some that you are completely conscious of and others that you have you're not aware of at all. Along with that, uh, you have different sections of the brain that take care of all of the rest of the things that are going on in your body. You know that, of course, like your heart, your breathing, stuff like that. Now, they have created uh, robots that are capable of lifting up glass cups, cups, lifting china plates, and other delicate tasks, along with being able to pick up very large heavy items with no effort. They have created robots who can determine if they have stepped on a pebble or a, or a uneven surface for perfect walking. They have created robots that can run perfectly and not fall over or anything like that. They have created robots that can recognize people's faces, voices. They've also created robots that can determine things in three dimensions, as in they can go up to a table and pick up an object and place it on top of another object, which, which would be very difficult to program such a, a robot. So now we basically have all of the functions of the quote-unquote science fiction robot. But now the crowning jewel in all of that, all of the rest of the robots were all physical task robots that were have been being created over the years. And those were created and perfected. Now the crowning jewel is to put the brain inside of the robot and that is what they have revealed. Now of course some of, some of you, my viewers, uh, have already said that they are simply revealing stuff that they probably already knew and have probably had already invented decades ago and they are just now coming out with it and they probably now have things that they're not going to even reveal for another 40, 50, 60 or even 100 years. Now I'm not going to get into the conspiracy theory of they got this knowledge from aliens or anything like that I don't know what to think about that I, and I haven't researched that or have any uh, knowledge of that or anything close to that. However, the here and now is that they have the capability to create a robot that is huge, giant, can pick up uh, very heavy objects, uh, destroy buildings, they already have that capability, and put a brain in it. Uh, that can take multiple instructions and think sort of like a human. It would be the equivalent of maybe a, a sixth grader or something like that. But a sixth grader is light years ahead of what they supposedly had not even 20 years ago. I, I, I want to say not even 10 years ago. But this release of information that they have now come up with a robot that can rival the human brain activity. I don't know whether that spells doom for the human race because you know there are those who are in power who feel that they must destroy half the planet or kill off half the planet and, and that uh, they are productive and the rest of the planet isn't, uh, the rest of humanity isn't and that they need to kill us. I don't know if that's what that means or are we going to create robots uh, that will do menial tasks that you pay people minimum wage for? Of course, the robot probably costs billions of dollars today, but if it were released and for private consumption, uh, that price would, of course, come down to maybe a few hundred dollars. 
and a business owner can afford to purchase six to ten robots for a few hundred dollars to do menial tasks and to increase his productivity for his business. That means you people, and I keep saying this, you people who are on minimum wage, learn a skill, whether it's auto mechanic, carpentry, plumbing, something like that. People say, oh no, you shouldn't learn a skill, but anybody who says that you shouldn't learn a skill is not looking out for your best interest. If school is not your thing and you are in high school right now, go to a vocational school right now. I would rather see half of the black population in vocational school and come out with a skill than to see half of the black population on minimum wage jobs. Vocational school does not equal minimum wage. You understand that part, right? And people say, no, you should get into a corporation and work your way up. Without skill, without education, without experience, you will never work your way up. And you'll never be put on into a track where you can become president of the company without education. That's just how the United States work. It didn't used to work like that. You used to be able to go to the mailroom and become president one day. Doesn't work like that anymore. Now you have to have the paper. Instead of doing that, instead of fooling yourself, instead of listening to somebody, go to vocational school now. Parents, if your son or daughter is terrible at math or terrible at English or terrible at social studies or just plain terrible at school, period, enroll them into vocational school. They want to do things with their hands. People are out there who just want to do things with their hands. Enroll them in vocational school. Set them on a course where they can have a good life. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a blue collar job if we still have blue collar jobs after the Obama administration. Now this is how you use news. I'm giving you an opportunity to do something with the news that I'm giving you that could set you up for a better life. If I'm going to tell you that potentially all the minimum wage jobs for humans is going to disappear in a few years, that means you need to prepare for this and take the next step. And I say the next step is enrolling in vocational school. College obviously is not the answer. We have people with master's degrees living under bridges right now. People with high finance degrees, high economic degrees, high engineering degrees living under bridges. But people are always going to call it plumber, carpenter, construction worker, what have you. Enroll your children into vocational school unless they have a 4.0 or even if they take AP classes, a 5.0, unless they have a 4.0 or a 5.0 in school, I would enroll my children into a vocational school. And I would not even do the whole school for the arts because, frankly, I don't believe that you need to go to school for arts. Yes, I said that. It's fantastic to learn piano, blah, 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 but most of the arts simply takes dedication and practice. I know because I draw, I paint, I sing, I dance, I play five different instruments and I never went to school for it. I took classes in college, but the classes were nothing more than showing up to the teacher's office and the teacher say go practice. That's it. Vocational school. Learn a skill. This is how you use news. This is how a stock trader would use their news, right? They see some report 
and they react to it appropriately. The whole point of watching the news is to react to it. So now I tell you, humans in some category could potentially be obsolete, be replaced by robots. That means any of those particular humans in that category need to think about what to do next to make themselves and have a better life or to continue having the quality of life that they have. If I said all bus drivers are going to be replaced, that would mean that if you were a bus driver, you need to think about what is going to happen next. And while I'm on that subject, bus drivers, cab drivers, you're up next because we're coming out with driverless vehicles and they are perfecting it. They are perfecting it. Anyway, thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. Leave your comment below. Thank you.